Hi there. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Serena Gruya, the Public Engagement Coordinator with Albemarle County. I'm going to give a high-level overview of our comprehensive plan and the update process, which we're calling AC44. First, a brief introduction to the comprehensive plan, starting with what it is and what it's used for. The comprehensive plan is a 20-year guiding document that describes our community's vision for the future. It includes the recreation, transportation, housing, and job opportunities that we want to see. It is collaboratively created by community members, staff, elected and appointed officials, such as the Planning Commission and Board of Supervisors. The recommendations in the plan are organized by goals, objectives, and strategies for each plan topic. Each level of recommendation becomes increasingly detailed and at the strategy level can include specific projects or infrastructure improvements. Here, you can see different plans and their time horizons. The comp plan has the longest time horizon and serves as a guide for shorter term plans. The strategic plan has a five-year time horizon that serves as a roadmap for how we're going to make near-term progress to achieve the community's vision for the future, recognizing that it takes time to implement the comprehensive plan. This plan includes funding strategies and program development. The annual budget is a 12-month implementation-oriented plan to get things done to advance the strategic plan. It includes staff salaries, equipment, maintenance, renovations, new public buildings and facilities, and program support. It's the shovels and hands to deliver services. Sometimes we hear confusion about the difference between the comp plan and zoning. The comprehensive plan is different from the zoning ordinance. As I mentioned, the plan includes recommendations and serves as a guide for staff and elected officials to make land use and other policy decisions. The zoning ordinance is a chapter of the county code and it's the law. AC44 is the name of the process for updating the comp plan, which is expected to be completed in late 2024 and be a vision for the next 20 years until 2044. There will be periodic, uh, periodic updates to the plan along the way, consistent with state code requirements and changing conditions in the county. As for the answer to why now, well, the state requires localities to have an updated comprehensive plan. Since the comp plan was most recently updated in 2015, the county has continued to grow and change and plan content needs to be updated to integrate new plans and policies around climate action, housing, economic development, and transportation, among others. There are four phases for the comp plan update, and each phase has an increasing level of detail as plan recommendations are drafted. The project started with big ideas and visioning and will end with the adoption of the plan in 2044, 2024. AC44 is currently at the beginning of phase two, which kicked off at the end of January. The result of phase one was the framework for an equitable and resilient community. These are principles to guide the development of the goals, objectives, and actions in the plan. The framework started out as four big ideas and was developed and refined with community, staff, planning commission, and board input, and incorporates the board's initiatives for equity and climate action. The framework guides us toward creating a community that is green and resilient, welcoming and equitable, connected and accessible, and thriving and prosperous. This graphic shows us how the different components of the framework seek to guide the components of the comprehensive plan. At the end of the day, we want the goals, objectives, and strategies to reflect our community's ideals. Phase two will last about a year for the entirety of 2023. In step one, we are reviewing existing conditions and recent trends for each plan topic. Community members are being asked about challenges, opportunities, and priorities on those topics. In step two, we will draft planning toolkits. In the future, planning toolkits will be used by staff to evaluate proposed development. We will also be discussing potential growth management options and how those relate to coordinated transportation and land use planning. Recommendations for land use, transportation, and growth management are important for guiding how and where the county develops, including the mix of uses for 
and options for walking, biking, transit, and driving. In step three, we will continue to refine and develop the toolkits and share goals and objectives for community review and feedback. At the end of phase two, there will be updated goals and objectives for each comp plan topic. After phase two, we will move into developing ways to help us implement the goals and objectives of the plan. This may include policies, infrastructure improvements, or other planning efforts. In the fourth phase, we will put together a final comprehensive plan document, which will be reviewed by the Planning Commission and adopted by the Board of Supervisors during a public hearing. Well, that wraps up the intro to the comp plan. Thank you for sticking around and learning about the plan. To learn more and participate online, please visit our project website at engage.albemarle.org slash AC44. And my favorite way to connect is in person out in the community. Over the course of this project, we'll have pop-ups around the county. When you see this fan, please stop by and in warm weather, grab a snow cone and let's talk about Albemarle. Thanks for watching.